hello everyone in this video we will going to learn how we can save a vector layer in QGIS in image file format so I have already imported a vector layer and over that I have overlaid uh, some fire data now uh, if you want to save this uh, image then we have to click on project from that we have to click to new print layout and you can give uh, any name and then uh, you have to click OK from that we you will uh, you have to go to add map then you need to drag the cursor all the way down and then you will be able to see the map uh, that was in QGIS main console uh, now if we want to add uh, the latitude and longitude then we have to go to then we have to go to uh, this grids from there you have to select a new grid one and then you will click on modify grid then you can uh, give the interval of latitude longitude uh, as per your desire uh, i will give five as the difference of the uh, interval of latitude and longitude and uh, as you can see uh, the grid is already created then i will going to remove this grid lines and uh, so that it looks uh, neat and clear Theref then i will put a border uh, uh, in which latin long will be shown then i will draw the coordinates as you can see all the coordinates has uh, now been drawn in this uh, you know panel but i don't want all this uh, in left right and top and bottom so i will going to remove the right one and also the top one then i will uh, choose the coordinate precision to 0 and then then we can adjust the font size uh, to maybe 18 so that it will be nice and bold and from here I can select bold now it will it is looking a little bit nicer okay so this is of putting the latitude and longitude uh, from here you can also choose a scale bar and put the scale bar in, in into it um, you can also put the uh, you know arrow northern arrow by adding a adding a picture into it and then you can choose arrow from that you can select whatever arrow you you are interested in for this I will choose yes this one which is pointing towards north yes uh, now if if you have uh, uh, legions then you can also put legions by adding uh, add scale bar Oops, sorry uh, you have to put add uh, it's my mistake it's add legend then you have to put add legend in legend also you can adjust the color very easily with uh, the font uh, I'm going to adjust the font in here so you have to click on font and text formatting from there you have to go to subgroup heading and you can choose bold and uh, grid, uh, grid size for example 18 and then item levels from that you can choose bold again you can choose a grid number size so that you can see very neat and clean so uh, this is the uh, legend that you can add into the uh, your uh, map now uh, you can 
if you are satisfied with the map uh, if you don't need further editing then you can save uh, you have to go to the layout and then you have to click on export image and then there will be you know a lot of options what uh, type of file you are interested in there is tiff uh, there, there are jpg uh, jpeg png etc i'll keep it in uh, tiff format and i'm going to save it so here you can uh, change the uh, picture uh, you know resolution okay um, which folder did I select? I forget. So I will again do the same one and I will uh, choose a desired, uh, you know, folder and give it uh, the name and the format will be TIFF as I have said earlier. Then I will save it. If I want to increase the resolution, uh, then I can change it here. I can put it 5000 dpi if I need a very, you know, prominent and high resolution file then I'm going to save it so it will take a couple of seconds and the notification will come that your task is completed and then we're going to see whether our uh, image is created or not and as you can see uh, we have created a new uh, image our desired image that we want to save and its file format as you can see is um, TIFF and as you can see it's very high resolution uh, file in 500 GPI so by likewise you can uh, save the uh, you know uh, image file if you want to Another thing I would like to add in this video is that you can also, uh, you know, change if this this map is a little bit, you know, small. If I want to increase it, I can just, uh, you know, increase here as it like uh, in, uh, increase the magnifier and it will be a little larger. Then I can just, you know, uh, click on update the map preview oops it's not coming uh, you, yes so you have to click on the second uh, option which is set map extent to match the main canvas extent and you will see a bigger image uh, of, of the previous version so you can uh, just adjust the um, magnifier here and increase your map size and then you have to go to your uh, you know uh, in in this section where you are you are saving uh, the image and then you need to click on uh, set map extent to match main text canvas then your image will be uh, bigger uh, as you have set in the in in this one so likewise you can uh, you know set now you can save your uh, image file in QGIS very easily. So, yeah, thank you for watching.